international trade. International trade allows companies to expand markets for goods and services that otherwise may not have been available to, to consumers. Because of international trade, the market contains greater competition and therefore more competitive prices, which brings a cheaper product home to the consumer. International trade is the exchange of goods and services between countries. This type of trade gives rise to a world economy in which prices or supply and demand affect and are affected by global events. Um, trading globally gives consumers and countries the opportunity to be exposed to goods and services not available in their own countries. Almost every kind of product can be found on the international market, whether it's food, clothes, spare parts, oil, jewellery, wine, stocks, currencies or water. A product that is sold from the global market is an export and a product that is bought from the global market is an import. Imports and exports are accounted for in a country's current account and balance of payments. International trade increases the efficiency for countries trading globally. It allows them to make use of their resources, whether it's labour, technology or capital, more efficiently. However, some countries may be able to produce the same good more efficiently and therefore sell it cheaper than other countries. If a country cannot efficiently produce an item, they can get the item by trading with another country that can. This is known as specialisation in international trade. International trade opens doors and allows countries to participate in a global economy, thus encouraging foreign direct investment. This is the amount of money that individuals invest into foreign companies and other assets. This results in economies being able to grow more efficiently and can easily become competitive in the economy. Foreign direct investment for the country that has been invested into is a means by which foreign currency and expertise can enter the country. This can raise the employment level in the country as well as leading to a growth in the gross domestic product. For the investor, foreign direct investment offers company expansion and growth which means higher revenue. However, there's been some opposing views on international trade regarding the level of control that is placed on it. This is either free trade or protectionism. Free trade means that there is no restriction to the trade. The main idea is that supply and demand factors on a global scale will ensure that the production happens efficiently. Therefore, nothing needs to be done to protect or promote trade and growth as the market forces will do so automatically. However, by contrast, protectionism holds that the regulation of international trade is important to ensure that the market functions properly. Some people believe that market inefficiency may hinder the benefits of international trade. Protectionism exists in many forms, with the most common being tariffs, subsidies and quotas. These attempt to correct any inefficiency in the international market. As international trade opens up opportunities for specialisation and therefore more efficient use of a country's resources. It gives the potential to maximise a country's capacity to produce and acquire goods. However, opponents of global free trade have argued that international trade still allows for inefficiencies that could leave developing nations compromised. What is certain is that the global economy is in a state of continual change and as it develops, so too must all of us participate.